Hi preschool, it's Miss Alyssa here in Occupational Therapy. I'm here to show you what we're gonna be doing next week, uh, the week beginning April 5th, 2021. Uh, thanks for joining me today and we're gonna get started. So for our first activity for the week, we are going to do a gross motor activity for coordination and upper body strength. So we are going to do jumping jacks. So I know some of you guys might have some trouble with this. So I'm gonna give you ways to adjust the activity so that you can make it easier for yourselves. So let's start by standing up and making sure we have lots of space around us so we don't bump into anything. So when you're doing jumping jacks, you start really, really slow. So we are gonna jump out like a star and then in like a pin. Jump out like a star and in like a pin. One more time, bring your arms and legs all the way out and all the way in. Now, if you have trouble with that, I want you to lie on your back flat on the floor and practice making snow angels on the floor. So you're gonna slide your arms and legs all the way out and all the way in. Slide them all the way out and all the way in. And if that's too hard, just practice bringing your arms up and down and up and down and when you get really good at that you can practice jumping with your legs out and legs together legs out and legs together and then combine the movements so there are ways to adjust the activity mm -hmm. so i hope you guys enjoyed that we're going to move on to bin number two we're going to make another spring craft next week we're going to make a bunny so you'll need two sheets of white paper a little piece of pink paper, just about three inches by three inches, some glue, a pink and a mar a pink marker and a black marker, and some scissors. So the first thing we're going to do is practice our folding skill, which is very important. You're going to hold your paper vertically in front of you, so down or long ways, and you're going to take the bottom corners and bring them up to the top, match up the corners. And you might need to put little dots to match up on your corners. And you're going to push down to make a crease. So when you pick up your paper, it will look like a card. We're going to do that again with our second piece of paper. So we get lots of practice folding. Bring the bottom corners all the way up to the top. Line them up. Push down to form a crease. And make sure it looks like a card when you pick it up. Now we're going to take our black marker and we're going to practice drawing a half of a heart. So some of you preschoolers might need dots to practice tracing on a line. So I'm going to do that on one sheet of paper so you see what I did. And take your marker, make sure you're holding it the right way. You want to pinch and you're going to trace on that line just like a train on the track to make a curve. And we're going to do that on the other piece of paper too. So this time I'm not going to use dots, but make sure you start drawing on the folded side of your paper. I'm going to draw a half of a heart. So when you're done, you have two pieces of paper like this. Then we're going to practice cutting on a line. So make sure you're holding your scissors the right way. Thumbs up. And you're going to line up the blade of your scissors with the line and cut up towards the ceiling. Slow and steady. And we're going to do this one. When you're done, you'll have two hearts. One, two. So we're going to take one of those hearts and we're going to cut on the fold. So you're going to cut on that line that you see straight down the middle. So you get more practice cutting on a line this week. I'm going to cut all the way up. And we have two halves of a heart. So now we're going to glue everything together. So get your glue stick ready. And we're going to hold our heart upside down and glue the two halves of a heart on the top part to make a bunny. So you might need some X's for glue for this one, so you know where to put the glue. And we'll do that. Down at the bottom. And then they're gonna just press 
press it onto the top of the bunny's head with your upside down heart. And when you're done, it will look like this. So it's starting to look like a bunny. Now you're gonna take that little piece of pink paper, pink scrap, it could be red, it could be pink, it could be orange. And if you don't have colored paper at home, you could just color in a piece of white paper. So we're gonna practice drawing a circle. And some of you little ones might need dots to practice drawing your circle or tracing on a line. And now we're gonna practice cutting out a circle. So make sure you're holding your scissors the right way and just keep turning and turning and turning your paper so you can stay on the line. So you have a circle when you're done. And we're gonna glue it right in the middle down here for our bunny's nose, whoops. Right there. So I'm gonna get some glue. Glue on my bunny's nose. And he'll look like that. Now we're gonna draw his whiskers. So you can see my bunny's whiskers are lines across, three on each side. This is a goal for a lot of you guys, so practice. And you might need to connect two dots or trace on a line to draw a straight line. He has whiskers. And now we're going to draw his eyes. So I drew these kinds of eyes, but if you have Google eyes at home or you want to draw different eyes, that's fine too. I'm going to draw a large circle for each eye. Put a black dot down at the bottom. Just like that. Now we need to do our bunny's ears. So we're going to make pink ovals and practice coloring and boundaries. So go ahead and draw a big oval shape. And you might need to trace dots for this too. And then we're going to practice coloring in the middle. Color in the middle and make sure you're holding your marker or crayon the right way. Small broken crayons are great for anybody who needs to practice using a proper grasp. And they also have pit squeak markers by Crayola that most uh, craft stores. And those are great because they're really short markers and they facilitate a proper coloring or writing grasp. So I like this activity because we practice cutting on a line, we practice folding, we practice drawing shapes and lines across and coloring in boundaries and using glue. So we address a lot of different areas of fine motor. When you're done, you have a great decoration for the holidays and spring if you don't celebrate Easter. So we're going to move on to bit number three and we are going to practice putting on a coat because I see a lot of preschoolers who struggle putting on their own coat uh, for dismissal. So I have my coat here and I think it's handy to get a hoodie or a coat with a hood when you're first learning how to put on a coat. So I'm going to stand back so you can see me. I'm going to put my hood on first just so I can practice reaching back into the arms of my coat. So I reach back, I reach back, and now I can take off my hood. So now we're going to practice zipping. So make sure when you zip, your thumbs are up. So see how my thumbs are up? And I'm going to practice using that reciprocal movement or that movement that we use when we tear paper to push the little car of my zipper down into the garage side. So I'm gonna use my eyes and hands together and slide the car into the garage. I wanna make sure I'm looking down at what I'm doing. Push it all the way in and make sure you hold the bottom of your jacket when you're pulling up. So we're gonna go all the way up. And then if you have snaps, you can practice snapping. Those are for the pop. Or if you have buttons, you can practice buttoning. So if you need more time, you can pause this video. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and thanks for joining.